Hello, and welcome to PumpTech's X-Pump Rebuild tutorial. In this video, we will be taking apart an X-Pump, replacing the parts inside, and putting it back together. Just a note, the X6, X5, X4, and X3 are all very similar. The only difference is the offset of the cams, so that should not matter in this video. Here is an exploded view of all the parts in the X-Pump. We will start here with the seal kit. In the kit itself, we will find 8 bolts, 4 121 O-rings, 4 seal rings, and 4 plunger guides. They will be aligned like this, and each head, highlighted in blue, are the 4 parts that will be in the kit. The bolt, plunger guide, seal ring, and 121 O-ring. Keep your retaining plates and your heads. Next we have the valve kits, and here are the parts associated with the valves. And in the valve kit itself, we will find one packet of grease, 116 O-rings, eight of those, eight M valves, and eight white washers. Here's an exploded view to help visually see where those parts will go. And next we have the plunger kit. And there are three parts in the plunger kit. We'll have two hoop yokes, four weld nuts, and four plunger ends. So each plunger will have two plunger ends, two weld nuts, and hoop yoke. You should be receiving two fully constructed plungers in your kit, along with some grease. Now, tools we will need for this build include a 3 16 hex wrench, a 5 30 seconds hex wrench, and I would recommend a towel and the grease packets that came in the kits. Here's another exploded view just to help visualize all the parts that go into an X-Pump. It's important to keep the parts organized and maybe take pictures as you go and feel free to pause this video at any time. So let's take apart our pumps. We'll use our 5 16 hex wrench and loosen each of the 16 bolts that secure the heads to the manifolds. We'll grab our drill to speed up the process. Gently pull our heads apart, just enough space to get that manifold off, and we'll place that to the side. Then we can take off each of the TIE Fighter looking heads and plunger constructs. We can take our heads off and clean the plunger and put that to the side. And it's important to know what you are going to replace. If you're just going to replace the heads, I would recommend only taking off the heads and only doing one at a time just so you don't get confused on how things go back together. So let's take another look into the head itself. Again, if you look at our kits, we'll find a plunger guide, a seal ring, and an O-ring, and those bolts that secure the retainer plate onto the manifold. So using the 5 30 seconds hex wrench, we'll take those bolts off and the retainer plate, and put that retainer plate to the side, we will reuse this. So inside each of those heads, there should be three parts. There's the plunger guide, the seal ring, and the O-ring. So grabbing the parts from the kit, we will then take a little bit of grease, just a, a dab on our finger, and rub that around the O-ring, and place that inside the pocket there. Don't mind if we have a little bit of grease on the next two parts, that's fine. But we will put them on the plunger ends. This will help us center the seal ring and plunger guide onto the O-ring. So this may take a couple tries, but you're going to want to make sure that it sits flush onto that head pocket. Then we'll grab our retainer plate, and there is a wrong way to go on there. We don't want to block that valve pocket. So we'll turn that around, and we'll make sure that the screws line up, and we'll use our 5 30 seconds hex wrench to tighten that down. Again, we have a, a drill to speed up that process a little bit and to make sure that they're secure. Repeat this process for each head. We only show one, but you're going to want to do it for all four heads. And feel free to pause the video anytime. The next item is to make sure that our valves and seals there are replaced where the adapter plate attaches to the X-Pump on that manifold here. We have all of our valves showing an O, and around each valve is an O-ring. So there are four rings and four valves. We want to make sure that each one is securely placed in, as shown as I rotate it here. Four O's and four O-rings. The other manifold, we will put in four X's shown and four O-rings. A total of eight O-rings and eight valves. Now we will go back to the plungers and heads. We'll replace our plungers if needed and make sure that they fit around those cams shown there. The grease is very important to use on these plungers before we put them together. We want to cover the inside of the plunger where the weld nut is. That's because where it rubs against the cam, we don't want any excess friction. We don't want to lose heat there. We don't want to cause any problems later on down the road. Another place that we want to apply grease is any time that a plunger will hit more metal. So if a plunger on plunger shouldn't rub necessarily, but in case it does, we want to have grease there so it has a nice clean interaction. So we will put it on the top face of one of the plunger sets and the bottom face of the other. For our first set of plungers and heads, we want to make sure that they're both lined up the right way. The spacing is critical, and for the heads, the brass plugs shown will be facing up. We want to make sure that this is the head set that has the in sticker and that it is placed appropriately as shown here. Next, we have the outlet sticker with the heads and plugs faced down. And so that should just slide right over the cams and be flush with the other set of heads. With all our valves and heads and plungers and everything in line, we can now put that manifold in between each headset and secure them together. 
So here's a quick picture that shows the outlet should be closest to the motor and the inlet should be furthest away on that right side. So we'll put each of our 16 bolts back into each head and we'll just finger tighten so we have a little bit of a connection. And at this point, it's easiest to put our rubber guards back on that block you know, dust and debris from getting into the pump while it's still a little bit loose. And we'll take our drill and we will secure each of the four heads and double tapping that first bolt that we do on each side, as you notice here. So one, two, three, four, one. And we'll do that for each one and your X pump should be back together. Thank you for joining us today at this tutorial. If you have any questions, please give us a call, send us an email, or view our website. Thank you and have a great day.